Hi, I'm Bruce Cameron, and here's your top nine pre-trial stage tips. Number one, clear language in the pre-sentence report. Everybody needs to understand what it's saying about you and your case, so nobody can make any mistakes for classification, etc. Number two, verified citizenship. If you're a U.S. citizen, say it. If you're not a U.S. citizen, say it, but citizenship needs to be verified and put in the PSR. Number three, don't seal the PSR. The BOP can't see you. They're going to score you up rather than down. So it's not a good idea for multiple reasons to have it sealed. Number four, medical history. Very important. Make sure your medical history is in full detail, especially for COVID and CARES Act releases. Number five, mental health and substance abuse. Make sure those uh, are listed there. That can have an important uh, thing for your designation to your facility and other program eligibility. Number six, verified education. Make sure your education is verified from your high school or college, from the institution. If it's unverified, you lose two points, and that can make the difference between a low or a camp or a medium and a low. It's a two-point situation with verified education. All right, number seven, are you a cooperator? If so, watch how that's phrased. Number eight, if you're a sex offender, realize that you're never going to get to a camp and you're precluded from benefits and you'll have a public safety factor on you. Uh, but you're going to be designated at least to a low security institution with defense. And lastly, number nine, criminal history scoring. Make sure your criminal history score correctly and that the conduct is put down correctly because the conduct also will be used when you are classified later on. Well, there's your top nine pretrial tips. Enjoy.